Hey, so I'm getting caught up on a couple tag videos. I got way behind and I'm so sorry. So this is the weight loss struggle tag that Robbie from Frecky Fit Wolf had put out a couple weeks ago. And these are awesome questions. So thank you, Robbie, for putting this tag video out. I so enjoyed watching everyone's videos. And I was tagged by Mary Fran at No Excuses and Joan at Joan's Pointed Plate. So thank you both of you for tagging me. I'm so, so sorry that this is taking me so long to get out, but I am very excited to be answering these questions. So 10 questions. Number one, why did you start your weight loss journey? <clears throat> I started my weight loss journey because my ankles hurt, my body hurt, and I just knew I needed to lose weight. I needed to be more healthy. I, I just felt like I couldn't move and I couldn't do anything. And um, I really felt stuck. And I wanted to be more healthy. And I wanted to, I wanted to lose weight. So I started in January of 2018. Um, I had lost a few pounds. I had lost like 20 pounds a couple of years before that and had gained like nine of it back. So I had already lost a little bit of weight from my highest. My highest was 261 pounds on, um, January of 2018. I started at 250 pounds and, um, I'm down, I'm down about 75 pounds now. It, I've been struggling the last, <laughs> talk about struggle, <laughs> struggle tag, but I've been struggling the last year and just up and down with my weight, um, just a few pounds, basically maintaining, but I need to get back on that weight loss, back on the weight loss and, um, get to goal because, um, mentally I just really need that. And, um, yeah, so I started this to be more healthy to answer that question. <laughs> Uh, number two, do you have a food kryptonite? Food is my kryptonite. <laughs> I just love food. And right now that, that is my issue. I'm just, I'm eating too big of portions. Um, if I was going to choose one food that was my kryptonite, it would be chips, um, or salty foods, but basically all food is, and the portion control is, um, is my, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it, it's very hard for me, especially, um, during stressful times, um, I think that's, it's more difficult then. Uh, number three, when is it hardest to stay on track? The afternoons and evenings is my hardest time every day to stay on track. And so I always try to keep a, a larger amount of points for the end of my day because that just seems like I get home from work and I'm starving and no matter, it seems like no matter what I eat during the day, I'm always starving at the end of the day. I try to um, throw some protein in there. I've tried to work carbs into, you know, during the day. And especially lately, it's been, it, well, it's always been the evenings, but um, lately I've just been kind of not fully losing control, but kind of losing control in the evenings. And I think that that's what's um, hindered my weight loss and, um, put a stall in it. So I'm trying to work through that and, um, maybe choose a salad or, you know, maybe some pickles or something like that. Throw in the zero point, um, foods. I'm on the momentum plan. So I don't get as many, many zero point foods as if someone was on the blue plan or the purple plan. But, um, I try to throw, you know, a salad in there or a cucumber or some pickles or something like that. Just, um, Green beans. I love canned green beans, especially the French style green beans. So I try to maybe do that. That's what I've been trying to incorporate in. But sometimes I still reach for the, you know, the salty snack, the chips or the crackers or something like that. I try to portion control it, but I have been struggling with that. So um, let's see. Number four, what is one thing you know you need to do differently? my portion control. It, that is, is always been the struggle for me is my portion control. It's not, like I said, it's not necessarily one food. Um, it's that portion control. And I guess, you know, keeping those chips 
like out of my diet because if I have them in the house, they're hard to resist for me. So, um, but definitely portion control is a big one for me. Um, number five, what has stopped you from being successful in the past? Well, in the past, before this weight loss journey, um, not seeing the scale move has, has always been an issue for me or, um, not tracking if I don't, well, I mean, it's kind of a snowball effect in the past. I, I, you know, I didn't track every day and, um, and that would snowball into the fact that I wasn't losing weight. And, um, and so that would, I would stop, I would stop. And, um, now my, um, the, well, I don't feel, I mean, I, I shouldn't feel unsuccessful right now, um, because I am maintaining and I'm not gaining. I have gained the last few weeks, but, um, for the most part, I, I am just maintaining and, um, but not seeing the scale move has always been an issue for me and it's, it's getting into my head right now. So I need to, um, I need to fix that because it's, it's really bothering me not to see the scale move in the direction that I want to see it move. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but, um, in past it's definitely been not tracking and, um, and that in turn makes the scale not move. Number six, what is something you've learned that you wish you knew before you started this journey? Um, I can do it. I know I can do it. I know now I can do it. Um, even through this past year where I have basically just been maintaining, I know I can do it. And, you know, some days are harder than others, especially when I'm not seeing the scale move at all. Um, but I know I can do this and I know that, um, it's a, a lifetime for me. And, um, I think before I've had the diet mentality where I'm just going to do this until I lose the weight and then I can go back. And, uh, I've, I've really been working on my mind and my mindset and how this needs to be for the rest of my life. And I will probably track, even when I get to goal, I'm thinking that I'll probably track most days. Um, just to keep myself in check because I struggle the most with portion control. And I think I will always struggle with portion control. And so I will, I will always need to track because it's, um, it's, it's definitely for me, the biggest struggle. And the reason that I got to the weight that I was at was because of the volume of food that I eat. I am definitely a volume eater. And so I always have to keep myself in check. And, um, that's why the momentum plan, um, is, I feel the best plan for me because, um, it keeps all of my portions in check, it, it, including fruits, because, um, I think I even eat too many fruits at times if I'm not, um, counting those as well. So definitely, um, definitely learned that I can do it. And a mindset, the mindset is, um, um, a big part of it and, um, and trying to stay positive. Um, number seven, what is one positive side effect of your journey that you didn't expect? Um, YouTube, I definitely didn't expect all of the support when I started YouTube in January of 2018. I, um, didn't expect the love and support and, um, the community that was here. And I, I was new to even watching YouTube. So, um, to see the community that's here and the love and support that everyone gives each other is just amazing. And that was definitely unexpected for me. Um, and a positive side effect with my body is that, I'm not hot anymore. I'm, I'm cold most of the time. And, um, I really like that because I was always so hot and I couldn't wear long sleeve shirts and I couldn't 
wear sweaters and, um, and I, I have to now because I'm, I'm just about always cold. So I think that that's a definitely a positive side effect as well. Um, number eight, biggest complaint about your weight loss journey. Well, it's just, I mean, it's taking so long, but I mean, that is my doing. I know that that's my doing. And, um, so maybe it's the, the struggle with the mindset and, um, always keeping that in check is, uh, is, is probably a, a big complaint of mine is just, you know, it's work. It's so much work every day. It's so much work. And sometimes I get, I get tired of it. I get tired of it. And so, but, um, we just need to keep pushing forward, but that's definitely a big complaint of mine is, is just how long it's taking and, and how much work it is. <laughs> uh, number nine, do you have a new food favorite? Uh, sorry. Do you have a new favorite food because of your journey? Um, Greek yogurt, I guess. I mean, it's not necessarily a, my favorite food, but before I would not eat Greek yogurt at all. And, um, now I really like it with, you know, um, some thought out frozen berries, mix that together. It's so, so good and so good for us. So definitely, um, that's probably a surprising one for me is, is the Greek yogurt. Um, number 10, is it worth it? I can't even tell you how worth it this is. And the amount of work that we have to put into our weight loss journeys and the struggle. And like I, like I was saying, the, the, the struggle with the mindset, is it worth it? Yes. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. I feel so much better 75 pounds down than I did at 261 pounds. I, I mean, even my coworkers can see a difference in even my attitude and just the way I, like present myself. I was so like, it was a exhausted, tired, like a different tired because I was, I was carrying so much extra weight and, oh yes, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. So it is so worth all the work. Um, cause it is, it's a lot of work and a lot of, um, you know, mental head work, but it is so worth it. So this is, like I said, this is an older tag. This was an awesome tag. Thank you again for, um, Robbie at Frecky Fit Wolf for doing this tag. I think th these were awesome questions and, um, thank you again, Joan and Mary Fran for tagging me. I really appreciate it. Um, I think everyone that I know of has been tagged. If you haven't been tagged and you especially if you are a newer channel and I, um, maybe don't know about you or, um, haven't thought to tag you or don't realize that you would like to be tagged, put, definitely do this tag, but put a comment in the comments below and let me know, say hello and let me know that you're, you know, that, that you're a new channel, that you're on a weight loss journey. Um, and I will try to make sure that I tag you in some of the upcoming tags because some of these newer channels that I, I even subscribe to, um, I don't know if you want to do tags or not. So, um, definitely if you have, have never been tagged by anyone or if you're not usually tagged or anything like that, definitely leave it down in the description box below and I'll try to make sure that I tag you in an upcoming tag video. So, but, um, I, I think everyone's been tagged in this, but if you haven't been tagged and you want to do it, go ahead and, um, do the, do this, vi the tag video and let me know. And I will definitely go over and watch it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.